My name's Bill Wagerman, staff writer for Ohio Valley Outdoors. If someone mentions Witherby shotguns, what comes to mind? The craftsmanship of the Orion side-by-side? -side, the exceptional beauty of Athena over-unders? How about the rugged dependability of their semi-autos and pumps? Now you can add a new category for Witherby shotguns, threat response. This is the Weatherby PA459TR. It's available in 12 or 20 gauge, and this is the 12 gauge with a 3 inch chamber. It has a 5 plus 1 capacity with 2 and 3 quarter inch shells, and a 4 plus 1 capacity with 3 inch shells. It only weighs about 6.5 pounds, and as you can see, all of the metalwork has a black matte finish. The overall length is only 39.5 inches. It has an 18.5 inch chrome lined barrel. The overall length, including the removable ported cylinder choke tube, is 20 inches. It has a 13.5 inch length of pull. The receiver is CNC machined. There's an extended and enlarged slide release. It has a black synthetic ergonomic pistol grip stock. The grip areas are rubber textured. There's a mill spec Picatinny accessory rail. It has an adjustable rear LPA style ghost ring sight that is removable. There's an M16 style front sight with a green fiber optic insert and a one inch thick recoil pad. Some features merit additional discussion. The lightweight, short overall length, and short length of pull make it very easy to handle for men or women. The pistol grip gives better control over the shotgun's recoil. Now the M16 front sight and the LPA style ghost ring rear sight make target acquisition very quick and smooth. The Picatinny rail on the receiver is designed primarily for mounting optics. This is the optional TR accessory rail that can be attached to the end of the feed tube. It's mainly used for flashlights, laser pointers, and options more suited for personal defense. The three inch chamber gives you two advantages. First off, there's a wide selection of shells to choose from, and secondly, a shorter slide stroke than a shotgun with a three and a half inch chamber. Now I asked some law enforcement officers what they liked about the PA-459. and The most common responses were the lightweight, the good sights, both the front and rear, a smooth action, the small size and ease of handling, and a pistol grip. When asked what they thought of the PA-459 for home defense, they said it would be very effective and I wouldn't mind having one in my own home. Now I tested the PA-459 for reliability, for personal defense, and for hunting applications. For reliability testing, several hundred rounds were put through this PA-459. Now the shot sizes range from number 9 through rifle slugs, 2 and 3 quarter inch to 3 inch, low power target loads to Remington's hypersonic loads, old shotgun shells, turkey loads, duck loads, goose loads, personal protection loads, and double lot box shot. No problems or malfunctions. I'm back at the local range to do some extensive live fire testing of the Weatherby PA-459. For personal defense, I'll be checking patterns at a distance of 10, 20, 30, and 50 feet with these IPSC targets. For hunting applications, I'll be using 36 inch square cardboard targets at a distance of 25, 30, and 40 yards. For personal defense, the Witherby PA-459 was tested with Winchester's PDX-1, Federal's Premium 2 and 3 quarter inch double lot buckshot, and Hornady's Critical Defense 2 and 3 quarter inch double lot buckshot. The choke tubes were the factory choke tube, Carlson's tactical choke tube, and Carlson's unported cylinder choke tube. The PA-459 was tested with Hornady's No. 4 Buckshot Garment Express and Hornady's Heavy Magnum No. 6 Turkey Loads, Winchester Blindside BB Shot, and Federal Black Cloud Triple B, Winchester Supreme Dry Lock No. 2, and Federal Premium Ultra Shock Triple B. The choke tubes were Carlson's full, modified, and close-range steel improved cylinder choke tubes. The PA-459 was also tested with Winchester 2 and 3 quarter inch Super X number 6 shot 
and Federal 2 and 3 quarter inch target load number 9 shot. The choke tubes are Carlson's full and modified choke tubes. Let's take a look at the patterning results. With the Weatherby factory choke tube, here are typical patterns at 10 feet, 20 feet, and 30 feet. Switching to the Carlson breacher choke tube, you can see how the same shell is typically patterned at 10 feet, 20 feet, and 30 feet. At 50 feet, Carlson's cylinder choke tube was included and the same shells were patterned again. Here are the typical patterns for Weatherby's choke tube, Carlson's breacher choke tube, and Carlson's unported cylinder choke tube. For hunting applications, a variety of Carlson's choke tubes were used in the PA-459. At 25 yards with a modified choke, 100% of the pattern with Federal Target Load Number 9 shot and Winchester Super X Number 6 shot was in a 30 inch circle. At 40 yards with a full choke, both Federal and Winchester patterns were very nice. Also at 40 yards, both the Hornady Heavy Magnum Number 6 Turkey Loads and the Hornady No. 4 Buckshot Varmint Express pattern beautifully. For waterfall hunting, Federal Premium Ultrashock Triple B and Winchester Supreme Dry Lock No. 2 were patterned with a Carlson's Close Range Steel Choke Tube at 30 yards. As you can see, excellent patterns. The same is true at 40 yards using Carlson's Modified Choke. Switching to Federal Black Cloud Triple B and Winchester Blindside Double B, the Carlson's Close Range Steel Choke Tube at 30 yards produced excellent patterning results. At 40 yards, both shells produced very effective patterns with Carlson's Modified Choke. As for the Weatherby PA-459, with the right choke tubes, this shotgun can be used for more than just personal defense. It would make a nice, lightweight shotgun for any type of hunting. The Weatherby PA-459 Threat Response Model Tested has an MSRP of $499. It also comes in a digital camo and a turkey model at $549. And the newest PA-459 called the Black Reaper is available in 12 or 20 gauge and it's also $549 MSRP. Now retailer prices can vary substantially making these shotguns very reasonable. For more information check out their website www.weatherby.com